and welcome to beautiful, if windy, Estes Park, Colorado, home of some choice slopes and the historically haunted Stanley Hotel. We're actually not here for either of those things today. We're here for a wedding at one of the vistas. And since our stay is so short, we knew we couldn't probably afford to stay at the Stanley or any of the Ritzier hotels. So we decided to give the famous Ridgeline Hotel a try. It's one of the cheaper options here. And as soon as we stepped foot in our room, we knew we wanted to do a resort tour. If you're planning to visit Estes Park anytime soon and you're looking for an affordable hotel option, we think you should be seriously considering the Ridgeline and we're about to show you why. Let's head on upstairs to do a room tour and then we'll do a walkabout on the property. I'm Tim, you'll meet Katie in just a little bit and we do things like this. Before we get started with the room tour, it's important for you to know that we stayed at the Ridgeline when it was in fact the Ridgeline. It has since been rebranded to the Holiday Inn Estes Park. So for the rest of the video, anytime you hear me reference the Ridgeline, Holiday Inn Estes Park, same place, different name. So of the available room types here at the Ridgeline, this is the king bed fireplace room. It was about $300 a night, which really isn't bad for the kind of amenities you get here. So just looking quickly at the fire escape plan here so you have an understanding of where we are. This is our building and we're on the fourth floor. This X is room 401 where we are. The lobby, which is not pictured here because it has a different fire escape plan, would be somewhere up here in relation to where we currently are. Walking inside the room, we have this nice shelf right here where I've hung up my jacket and some of my wedding attire. We do have an iron as well as an ironing board if you need to press some clothes, which I did, so that was handy. We have some hanging space here. I think I had six hangers total, which was enough for my purposes. If you're coming for a longer trip, you might need to request some additional hangers from the front desk, but they do have them on hand. Full length mirror as is customary. Oh dear, it's me. Heading on into the bathroom right off the main hallway. It got some nice Colorado art here. We do have pumps for hand wash and body lotion so you don't have to use the bar soap. Unfortunately, I didn't see those until after I had already opened the bar soap. So you have bar soap here as well. A nice touch that they've added here is they do have makeup remover towelettes. This one little pack that came with the room. We do have our traditional bathroom mirror. What we've got here in this first drawer is kind of like a rollout drawer of sorts. I think you can put like small makeup essentials in here, but not much else. This is a very small space. You want a little more space, you want to open up this big drawer underneath. This is also where you'll find your hair dryer. On the bottom of this sink structure, you will find an extra roll of toilet paper and plenty of space for actual toiletries. Shampoos, conditioner, and body wash are provided with the shower. This is both a shower and a full-size tub, so you can make of that what you will. Something that I've never seen in any hotel before is this little timer on the shower wall. This is an hourglass, you flip it upside down, and it runs for approximately five minutes. The idea is if you beat the timer in and out of your shower, you've saved a significant amount of water. Plenty of towels can be found at the top of the shower, including some hand towels on the rack below. And as always, reduce, reuse, recycle. As we enter the room itself, you'll see this pretty sizable sofa here, which is, in fact, a sofa bed. So if you needed to, you could fit someone else in this room. King size bed accommodates us just fine. Nice Colorado wilderness art. This three light lamp. More Colorado wilderness art. And then down here we've got a coffee table with the Estes Park Times, complimentary edition. Next to the sofa we do have our hotel phone. Speed dial number is there for the front desk or for voicemail if either should be necessary during your stay. Nice little corner chair here. I will say this texture is not particularly soft, but it is comfy after a long day, especially I think if you go out skiing, which we did not do, but I can imagine your legs would be pretty tired coming back. And then of course, there is the fireplace itself. Fireplace controls are right inside this top right corner. All you have to do is flick it on. We got a pretty sizable wall-mounted TV here, and then panning slightly to the right, we have this storage cabinet, and on top of the storage cabinet, they have given us an exploration kit, which includes a walking stick, 
and a pair of binoculars. Now I'm not clear on whether or not I'm allowed to just take these and go, or whether these are kind of rented assets. The walking stick in particular does have a little price tag on it, but it does not have a price. At least not that I could find. Plenty of room in these drawers for additional clothing or small items. The top one is full of my dirty laundry right now, but I'll show you the bottom one. Plenty of space. Same goes for these side cabinets. ba -da! Put all your groceries in there. You do have an in-room AC and heater unit, which you can control not by thermostat, but by manual control right here. I have it off right now because we're filming, but if I wanted to turn it on, that's all I have to do. Turning our attention to this side of the room, you can see we've got this weird kind of stylish print on the wall behind the bed. I actually kind of like it. I believe it's supposed to be the mountain range, which we have a great view of out of pretty much any window here. Then we have the bed and two nightstands in addition to a little coffee corner. Both sides of the bed have these little independent lights, which you can turn on and off by flicking this switch. Both sides also have some shelving for small objects, like our editing computer. But only one side has USB outlets. You've got two AC, one USB here, and that is on the right side of the bed. We also have this clock radio, which the time is definitely off, but it does give you two additional AC outlets and two additional USB outlets, which is the important thing. Over in what I call the coffee corner, we do have a little sink where you can wash your hands or get some additional water for your coffee. The Keurig that they provided for this room is a little better than the standard hotel Keurig. You have a couple different options for coffee flavors back there too, including some Starbucks selections. And we have some creamers. These did come with our room, but might not come with yours. These are two cookies that they gave me for being a Choice Hotel member when I checked in. I just kind of tucked them in there where they would be safe. We do have ourselves an ice bucket, and the ice machine is actually just outside of our room. And best of all, we have a microwave. How many rooms come with a microwave these days? Virtually none in the United States. This was awesome. Naturally, our room did come with a mini fridge, which is, I would say, pretty standard for hotels these days. It's a decent size. As long as you can fit Coke Zero, that's all that really matters. There is a little freezer here. It's the teeny tiniest little freezer, but it exists. Of particular significance for those of us who do not travel light is this storage area at the foot of the bed, where as you can see, I've successfully crammed every piece of luggage that I brought with me on this trip. But of course, we didn't come to Colorado not to get a room with a view. That back there is the Rocky Mountain Range, which surrounds us all the way around, and right in front of it is Estes Lake, which this hotel sits almost right on top of. Certain areas of the hotel, you can see that a little better. We also have a view down to the fire pits on property. These are not lit right now, obviously, but come nightfall, they will be. And we're gonna be making our way out there for a little bit of a s'mores fest later on today. But what of our king-size bed, do you say? <sighs> it's cozy. The perfect middle ground between soft and firm for us that prefer a slightly firmer mattress. Five pillows come standard at the head of the bed. You do have an extra one if you need it in that little storage area towards the front of the room. So that's about it for our room tour. Now we're gonna do a walkabout of the Ridgeline Hotel itself so you can see all the incredible amenities on property. It's an amazing resort, much better and bigger than I thought it was going to be. And you don't have to take my word for it, cause we're gonna show you. And just so you all have kind of a general idea of where we are and where we're headed, this is where our room is. The lobby is down here. There is actually a conference center on property here too. Now there is a conference going on at the moment, so we won't be able to explore much of this, but I'll show you where it is. The pool is all indoor, so that's covered. And this whole area is open to the public daily. So we're gonna make our way down to the lobby first and then branch off from there. Remember how I said every window had a great view? Well, case in point. Boop. The main lobby at the Ridgeline is one of the prettiest, best themed, best organized, and most welcoming lobbies I think I have ever stepped foot into. They have free public access games. They have complimentary treats for your furry friends since this is a pet friendly hotel. They have luxury furniture. They have hanging seats. 
they have a fireplace, they have everything. One of the standout elements of the lobby here is the classic Ghostbusters pinball machine. This couch is so comfortable. If you take a seat, beware you don't fall asleep. And to keep you awake, we have some local literature. But of course, the coup de gras is this amazing hanging chair. This is better than my house. How great does a fireplace feel in February? in Colorado? That is a rhetorical question. It feels amazing. They also have this little complimentary coffee corner in here, which I really like. You can get Starbucks coffee. It looks like you have some control over what type, what flavor. I cannot guarantee that this particular device is complimentary because I haven't used it. I don't really drink coffee. But as a whole, what you find on this shelf is largely complimentary. This area in here is the Latitude 105 Ale House and Restaurant. In the mornings, they do have a complimentary breakfast buffet in here, all the fixing of a typical hotel breakfast. In the evenings, it becomes a walk-up table service restaurant. No reservations needed. It is first come, first serve. So just walk up, wait to be seated, place your order, and enjoy. We're gonna be having dinner here a little bit later this evening, so we'll be sure to tell you how it is, but from the menu, Looks pretty good. Obviously, being an alehouse, they do have bar seating as well. This area can get crowded quick, but for what it's worth, it's still a very down-to-earth, chill vibe as compared to some hotel bars, which I really like. Perfect. Like many hotels, the Ridgeline has a little after-hours shop where you can pick up snacks, yogurt, candy, and the like. But very much unlike most hotels, the Ridgeline also offers cans of oxygen. That's supposed to help with altitude sickness. I haven't struggled with it too much since getting here, but if I was going hiking, might think about bringing some. I also really like that you have this map of the Rocky Mountain National Park. So there, right on Estes Lake, that's where we are. And all of this is up for exploration. Bear in mind there is a fee to access the national park. I'm not sure what it is, but I know it's relatively small. I would be remiss if I didn't point out they also have refillable filtered water on site, which I have used many times since getting here. You don't often see this at hotels, so. Much appreciate. Stepping outside for a moment to give you a little preview of what the fire pit area looks like. Now this is gonna look much better at night and bear in mind that it is always windy here. You're sitting right on top of a lake, right at the base of the Rocky Mountain Range. So it's a little bit nippy. But why have a fire pit if not for those exact conditions? There are three fire pits total, eight to 10 chairs around each one, and you can actually purchase s'mores kits from the front desk. So if you're interested in having a sweet treat to end your day here, I would highly recommend. We do have an easy access ATM right in the doorway of the conference center. You can't miss it. This is especially relevant for those who are staying on site because I don't know about you all, I am constantly forgetting to bring cash for made tips. Back down this hallway behind me is the Estes Park Conference Center. Now again, there is currently a conference going on. I know it's very quiet, but back there is tons of meeting rooms and lots of people trying to do actual important work. I don't want to be a bother to them. But it is here, and this is supposedly one of the more appealing conference centers in Estes Park. So if you're coming to the area and you're planning like a big meetup or a big group gathering, this is an option for you. Since the Ridgeline is a conference and convention center, there are several meeting rooms and areas that you can book out for special events. This one that we're peeking into right now is called the Lumpy Ridge Room. You do need to book it in advance and have it added to your room in order to access it. So I can't get in. Just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into what that space looks like. Well, y'all, we are in luck. We have stumbled onto the game room at a moment when there are no hardcore gamers inside. It does have a vibe, as you can tell. The disco ball adds a lot of ambiance to this area. But this room is for anyone. Anyone who's staying here, be it a convention guest or someone who's just passing by. We've got arcade games, we've got a billiards table, we've got ping pong, we've got basketball. Why, we even have tabletop ice hockey. How often do you see that one anymore? Yeah, he shoots. He misses. He's not very good. The indoor pool area is open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. 
does require a key card to access. And lo and behold, includes entertainment. So this is a full-size pool. It goes from three feet to nine feet. There is a hot tub off in the corner, which I will show you in just a second. Plenty of seating, a couple of tables, and free pool noodles. Life vests as well. So pretty much everything you could possibly need to have a good time. The whole complex is indoors, so weather is not a factor. You can also get complimentary pool towels here, which you will need to return on your way out. Over in this back corner is where you're gonna find your whirlpool slash hot tub. It is a little bit on the smaller side, but I think it could comfortably seat five or six. Obviously, if people are waiting for a turn in the hot tub, be respectful, give them their chance to enjoy it. My favorite thing is that even though you're inside, they still have umbrellas on some of these tables. Cause vibe is why. Now the fitness center was a little bit trickier to find, but if you can find the pool, you can find the fitness center. Now we touched very briefly on altitude sickness when I was exploring the lobby and they had those cans of oxygen on sale. Our current elevation is more than 5,000 feet above sea level. So even when you're on solid ground at the base of a mountain, it's entirely possible that as a traveler, your body has not yet adapted to how gravity may try to work against it, which is something to consider, especially with the emphasis on cardio at hotel gyms, and this gym is no different. Generally speaking, I do try to squeeze in at least one workout per vacation if there is a fitness center. However, I think I'm gonna skip this time simply because I don't wanna push myself so hard that suddenly I'm not feeling well because I'm not used to the altitude and I wind up flat on my face and done for the day. So, something to think about if you're traveling into Estes Park from I don't know, the east or west coast, some place we've been. Having said that, it does look like they have a healthy collection of kettlebells, and it looks like they also have a rack of dumbbells from five to 35 pounds in weight increments. That's not to say you shouldn't still be cautious, that's just to say that if you do really wanna work out at this altitude and your body might not be adjusted, free weights may be a little less cardio intensive than cardio. Also really like that this particular fitness center does have a complimentary water station as not every fitness center does. Well, I told y'all we were gonna dine at Latitude 105 tonight, and here we are at Latitude 105, and this time, I do mean we. She's back! So earlier I did talk about the ale house itself here at Latitude 105, and these are all the different alcoholic beverages that they have on tap, including some specialty cocktails. The only thing is, as I mentioned earlier, altitude adjustment. Anything that we get here is gonna hit us twice as hard as it normally does, so I'm tempted, but I don't know if it's a good idea. You learn real quick that your body is not as strong as you think it is. Well, I knew what I was getting myself into when I ordered the gold miner. <laughs> this is a Colorado beef patty, shoulder bacon, sharp cheddar cheese, fried onion straws, and BBQ sauce with a side of sweet potatoes in the background there. I went for two small plates. They're they're not that small. small. Is relative. <laughs> this is a cup of their elk chili with uh, some cheese, sour cream, green onion, and red onion topped, and then a chips and queso with hot chilies. Yeah, this is plenty shareable. I'm gonna have to help you with that. Yeah, you might have to help me. So uh, we got our work cut out for us, both of us, I think. I do have a fridge and a microwave. Going in on elk chili. I don't think I got any elk in this bite, but. Well, you'll have to try again. This is really good. If you like chili and like a meaty bean, very hearty, lots of tomato, vegetables, beans. Wait, and it's a good spice. But you didn't tell us how the elk is. Oh, it's delicious. Had an elk bite and didn't tell us. Despite all appearances, I do not love being a messy eater, so I typically cut my burgers in half like this. The only thing about this one is that I kind of destroyed it. Look at that. Hold on. That's what Zoom is for. Look at the layers. Look at the layers. That is a masterpiece. Wow, that meat is tender. Mm, good. It's so tender. This is genuinely one of the better barbecue burgers I've had. I'm glad the waitress recommended this one to me. Yeah. That was a good call. <laughs> Trying the queso. Cheesy. Well, it's queso. Is it good? No. Mildly spicy, very cheesy. How does it Creamy. compare to the chili? I mean, the chili is more Chili's got elk it's in it. <laughs> queso it's is just queso. It's a, this is, this is, 
you know, I thought that the cup wouldn't be a meal, so I ordered the chips. This but could the be a meal. Cup could be a meal. As the sun sets outside, we have one last little surprise. When I checked in, I got this complimentary s'mores kit redemption coupon. We're thinking we're gonna go redeem it now. Earlier today when I was like, it's gonna be windy this evening and the fire's gonna go all every which way, the prophecy is revealed. It went every which way. Oh god! You want to open up our s'mores kit? Our kit. Our kit. Our kit and caboodle. It contains enough ingredients to make at least two s'mores. Two graham cracker packages. Okay. Four marshmallows and a full size Hershey's milk chocolate bar. Oh! Holy gosh! <laughs> One, one marshmallow. marshmallow. Yeah, I would do two at a time. At a time. We don't want to be out here. Too. <laughs> no. There's a good chance we catch fire ourselves before we actually get the marshmallow Roast, under control. Roasters become the roasted. We're a little bit out of control. I think. Jeez. <laughs> I think we picked a bad pit. No, they're all. Look, I started at that one, and I thought this one looked calmer, so I moved here. <laughs> Fool of a took. Just the wind. I don't know if you have the power to prevent it from getting. <laughs> Not with that attitude. You For real though. Like jump back. For real though, I mean, wind aside, these fire pits are really nice. They are really nice. I'm not. I never said otherwise. They're just no. also just incredibly intimidating. Whoa! That never, was cool. Right? That was the devil himself rising out <laughs> of this fire pit. It was like a, a serpent of fire. <laughs> I really don't want to get marshmallow all over my pants, but it might be unavoidable. Unavoidable. Uh, all right. No, 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 my bottom. There you go. My bottom. Oh, that was a good crunch. Quality s'mores. S'mores really taste good because you do have to put some effort into them. It's true. I feel like you earned your dessert. Return of the Mac. Oop. And I ruined it. Well, that effectively marks the end of an all-around wonderful stay here at the Ridgeline Hotel in Estes Park. Now, earlier I did mention that I got a little goodie bag for being a Choice Hotel member. That is because as of the time of this shooting, this hotel is part of the Choice Hotel chain. However, by the time this video comes out, it will have changed hands and will be officially part of the Holiday Inn family. The staff here, who have been absolutely wonderful, by the way, have assured me that nothing about the way the hotel is run or the amenities offered will change. It is just the parent brand that is changing. That's good news for any members of the Holiday Inn's loyalty club because this hotel will start to honor those discounts and benefits, but it's great news for us because we loved our stay at this hotel and we're very much looking forward to coming back and staying again someday. We hope you've enjoyed this little walkabout of the Ridgeline and we hope we've encouraged you to check the Ridgeline out as an alternative option to places like the Stanley if you are coming to stay in Estes Park anytime soon. Trust me guys, it's worth it. Financially, logistically, and experientially, it's just an all-around awesome stay. We've been Tim and Katie, and every day is a new adventure. We'll see you again real soon.